Right, here's another one from the, from the dope days. <clears throat> when I first got straight, I would, I would go to these meetings, you know, I would go to these AA meetings. And of course, it was full of people just like me, a bunch of liars and thieves and junkies and alcoholics. So it's, you know, you're bound to run into some bad people, you know, and you put your trust in people and then you get your hopes shattered. And, and finally, you learn how to, how to deal with life a little bit better than, than I was. And uh, I met this girl in this meeting, and then I saw her at a club, and I thought, oh, well, I was the last girl out. So. <clears throat> We went out to go get some, I was in New York at the time. It was like three o'clock in the morning, you know, New York goes all night. Got her on the phone, she said, yeah, come and meet me at this diner. So we went down to this diner and I was, uh, I don't know, I was about six or seven months sober. I wasn't really all together in my head yet. And she was, uh, always telling me you know, how tough she was and how hard she had it and all that other stuff. And I thought, oh, okay, I can do that. And we were sitting there, and this, uh, this, really, this, this poor little girl, she was, must have been 18 years old, and she was just in horrible shape, and she was trembling. You can tell she was probably a crackhead or whatever, I don't know what, but she came into this uh, diner and she just wanted to get some pancakes. Let me tell you what, if you're a junkie or an alcoholic, you know, you don't spend your money on food, you know? And so just that she, the fact that she was ordering some food told me that she's trying, you know, she's gonna try and eat something, she's trying to do better, maybe she's trying to get clean. And so I was watching her walk in, and as she walked in, she asked for some pancakes, and the fucking guy behind the counter didn't want to serve her. So I got pissed off and I started to get up and the girl I was with put her arm on me. He goes, no, don't do it. I go, are you fucking kidding me? She's just like us. And you don't want me to go stick up for her? And so I cussed her out and she left. And then I went over and I cussed out the owner of the fucking place. And, and I got her some pancakes. But it was, uh, it just, it, it made me feel bad for her and it made me feel grateful for where I'd been and, and it made me never want to see that girl again. And so, uh, so I went home and wrote a song. <laughs> Oh! 
Thank you.